Hey guys, what up? Uh, it's Brownie, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make 1.6 movies today. So yeah, um, thing we're gonna need to do uh, beforehand is download the 1.6 uh, config and everything, which is gonna be in my comment. So go download that, and if you haven't, just pause the video now and then get back. Anyway, once we have it, put it on your desktop, and let's extract it. Alright, now we have it. What do we do? We the main things we're gonna need is a movie.cfg half-life advanced effects and that. So open up Steam apps. There we go. Uh, go to your movie making account. Let's see strike. Alright, here it is. Drag in your movie.cfg. I already have it, but I'm gonna press OK. Drag in this to remove the HUD. OK. Alright. Now let's open up Half-Life Advanced Effects, yeah? Once we have that open, let's close that, maximize it, let's launch it. So, once we have it launched, um, we're going to have to find a Half-Life.exe. So if you haven't found that already, it's going to be outside of the C-Strike. So, I got it. Modifications, leave that. Um, command, in line, you can change that, but if you don't know what you're doing don't mess with it um for the res we're gonna keep that check do 1280 by 720 so we're good to go everything else is good to go so launch might take a bit but uh now it's up so we have cs in a program look at that you know the game's shitty when you can do that anyway um Let's go view demo and let's find something to edit. So I think I'll do train AK Alright, right, so now this is gonna come up to take a bit. Alright, now it's up. Um, now we go exec space movie dot cfg. Alright, make sure you have that exactly like that. Don't do exec movie. That's crap. You have to go exec movie.cfg. Alright, and then let's do um, MIRV movie FPS. Let's set that to 90. You can set it to anything you want. If you want to make sync 3, set it to like 10,000. But you have fun with that. I'm going to set it to 90. Um, next, MIRV movie export sound 1. That's if you want sound. And Usually you do, so let's keep that checked. Um, we're done. That's it. Now we just have to play the demo. So F12 is to uh, begin the movie, and F11 is to end it. So just hit the hotkey now. All right, so it should be done now. Um, let's just hit F11 and exit out of Half-Life Advanced Effects. Close that. Um, now. Let's go to a movie making account. And oh, let's go back one. And there they are. The TGAs with the, the dot wave. So just drag it into V dub. And they all should link up like so. So look, it's kinda like doing like a bunny hop crouch walk thing. Anyway. Um audio. Let's get the audio. If that doesn't show up like that, you have to go to the movie making an account and find it where you found your TGAs. So, then full processing, frame rate. We got, we did 90, so let's put 90 in that. Um, compression. Um, for compression, use one of the ones I put in the description. Uh, so just choose whatever one suits you. Anyway, let's save it. Save as AVI desktop let's call it uh crazy crazy watermelon guy because we can wait for it to finish exit out of that we don't need a tgas anymore just exit out of those um now we have a crazy watermelon guy what do we do with it well, we drag it into our favorite editing program, or drag it into Vegas if you want to do After Effects, you can do that. If you want to do Photoshop, you- no, you can't drag it into Photoshop, just kidding. Anyway. 
Um, so we have it. What do we do? What do we, you edit it. Crazy watermelon guy. Let's say I want to add some disco shit to it. Make my trick that. Alright, so... Yeah, that's that. Hope this tut, uh, hope this tut helped you guys out. Uh, had a fun time making it too, so... Yeah. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys. Peace.